Good Morning Blues is underwritten by Atlanta Center for Cognitive Therapy. Cognitive therapy is a model of treatment for emotional problems occurring in individuals and relationships. The center's psychologists primarily offer telehealth psychotherapy services online with your computer, tablet, or cell phone. For more information, 404 842 That's 404 404- 8420555 or cognitiveatlanta.com WRFG Atlanta now celebrating our 50th year as your independent community radio station for progressive information and hand-picked quality music. Since 1973, WIFG has provided a voice for those who have been traditionally denied open access to the broadcast media through the involvement of a broad base of community elements to guarantee that access. In the utilization of the station's facilities and its programs, the following communities will receive first priority. Those who continue to be denied free and open access to the broadcast media, those who suffer oppression or exploitation based upon class, race, sex, age, creed, sexual orientation, disability, or immigrant status. How about helping us celebrate our milestone 50th year on the air by making your contribution now at wfg.org. Good morning, Bob. Good morning, Blues. WRFG Atlanta. Good morning, Blues. We'll brighten up your day as you put on your shoes. Yeah, yeah. You've not got to be the way to wake up each and every day on WRFG in Atlanta. Good morning, Blues. Good morning, Blues. This is Tony O'Malley on WRFG Atlanta. Well, greetings, all you spring breakers. I know a lot of the city is off this week because the schools or a lot of the schools are closed. So some of you probably rolled over and snoozed a little longer. That's okay. Just remember, you can always catch up with the show on YouTube, UK Bob 007. Surprisingly, I looked at the stats and in the last year I've had 20,000 views. Not too shabby for a nobody. Uh, All kinds of, um, I would say, pretty interesting stuff today, but then I would, wouldn't I? Sorry. Blues, rock, jazz, soul, a real concoction. But I do want to start in the time machine with something that has to be the bizarrest 50-year kickback ever. Brand new material, not out yet, <clears throat> from an 84-year-old. But the guy just can't stop being hip. You wouldn't know it. He's got more hair than my giant cat used to have. But also the most bizarre history in terms of start. So the band name, or rather his original band name, and he was only with him for the first year or two, was taken from a book that their manager read in prison. <clears throat> Excuse me. So Guy Stevens was the manager of Ireland, and he was, uh, he was in prison <laughs> for some drugs thing. Anyway, the band had a lead singer, but Guy Stevens says, no, you're crap. <laughs> so you be the manager, and I'll get a singer. And that's just what they did. So this guy was brought in as the singer for this album named after... Um, this book that he'd read, okay? Um, But to kick it off, the only way they were going to get going was to have some kind of hit record. Uh, So at the time, there was, I think it was the same manager as David Bowie. So David Bowie, who liked the band and he already knew the singer, said, tell you what, here's one of mine, use this, which they did. So the repertoire also included cover versions of Sonny Bono, uh, 
let's see this, the Douglas Quintet, who else? An instrumental of the Kinks, you really got me. Just all kinds of things. Absolute mega, mega hit album. So, you know, a very, very strange and, and bizarre beginning to quite an amazing album and band. And uh, fast forward 50 years and you get this guy solo. You would just never know he's 84.
done those of you that figured it out and sent me an email going I know who it is you can always do that UK Bob at mindspring.com was indeed Ian Hunter the band was Mop the Hoople the song was all the young dudes written by David Bowie which is such an American title for 50 years ago but there again all the young chaps doesn't quite sound right does it um anyway Pavlov's Dog was the very fast beginner, and the new single, Bed of Roses, was part two from the album, if you don't know already, Defiance, part one. Yes, brand new stuff, all original material, all by him, and uh, pretty amazing for a chap of his age. The Bed of Roses song is really the story of a rock band and how it typically all goes along, so... Go back, have a listen. Let's go local. Um, there's quite a few here, actually. Local meaning surrounding states, okay? Don't be picky. We're not staying in Lawrenceville, okay? Or East Point or Alpharetta. Let's just say surrounding areas. 
We're going to be dead local, like Decatur to begin with. And I think the next guy is still eh, maybe Nashville. No, no, no. Nashville, I think. Nashville, Atlanta, local, and then maybe back to Nashville, but all pretty close by. Just hang on for four songs and you'll get a bit of all kinds of things. The Emory Hope Clinic's Community Health Night conducts HIV, STI, and COVID testing every month on the second and fourth Thursdays from 3 to 7 p.m. Other offerings include COVID-19 vaccines and boosters, sexual health education materials, and refreshments. On the second Thursday, testing will occur at the East Lake YMCA at 275 Eva Davis Way Southeast, Atlanta, Georgia 30317. On the fourth Thursday, testing will take place at the Little Five Points Community Center at 1083 Austin Avenue Northeast, Atlanta, Georgia 30307. Registration information is available at goemory.org slash register. Once again, that's G-O-E-M-O-R-Y dot O-R-G slash register. This has been another public service announcement brought to you by your listener-sponsored and supported community radio station, 89.3 FM Atlanta, WRFG.org. So well done, those of you that figured it out and sent me an email going, I know who it is. You can always do that. UK Bob at Mindspring.com was indeed Ian Hunter. The band was Mott the Hoople. The song was All the Young Dudes, written by David Bowie, which is such an American title for 50 years ago. But there again, All the Young Chaps doesn't quite sound right, does it? Um, anyway, Pavlov's Dog was the very fast beginner, and the new single, Bed of Roses, was part two from the album, if you don't know already, Defiance, part one. Yes, brand new stuff, all original material, all by him. And uh, pretty amazing for a ga- ba- chap of his age. The Bed of Roses song is really the story of a rock band and how it typically all goes along. So go back, have a listen. Let's go local. Um, there's quite a few here, actually. Local meaning surrounding states. OK, don't be picky. We're not staying in... Lawrenceville, okay, or East Point, or Alpharetta. Let's just say surrounding areas. We're going to be dead local, like Decatur to begin with. And I think the next guy is still eh, maybe Nashville. No, no, no. Nashville, I think. Nashville, Atlanta, local, and then maybe back to Nashville, but all pretty close by. Just hang on for four songs and you'll get a bit of all kinds of things. Hey, I'm glad you're listening because this show is for you, like it is every week. This is UK Bob. We've been on the air for 50 years this year, which I think is amazing. I know, I know you say I'm old anyway. Well, I've only done it for the last 23. Ha! But you know what? Our success is down to you. The programs are handmade because you hand deliver and gift to us the funds to keep going. My job of just rooting around and collecting things to play for you is a lot easier. So join us with the Spring Fun Drive, please. It's what keeps us on the air, and it's your community. There's no corporate shouting and neon advertising. Just us. Well, especially me with my stupid jokes, I know. But I love collecting things to share with you and celebrate particular artists and have guests and all the other things that we do. But it only works because you're there and you're gifting us funds to keep us on the air. It's easy to do. Value for money. That's all you've got to say to yourself for justification. Here's how you throw funds at us. Go to the website, wrfg.org. There's various ways. On the phone app, it will tell you the same methods. Cash app, just put cash sign WRFG893. And have a look for my name on Thursdays, Good Morning Blues 2. It helps me justify that they still open the mic when I open my mouth. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for everything you do to keep us on the air, maybe another 50 years. Is 
like a death wish He says we can keep it under cover She knows one touch will put her under Your kiss is like a death wish She walks on over Smiles, puts his hand on her shoulder Y'all kiss us like a death wish Leans in going towards her lips It's all over with his hands on her hips What you want, what you crave Not change it to your grave Herself in check, but she can feel his breath on her neck. Yo, kiss is like a death wish. If she could, she would resist. But the story goes just like this. What you yearn, what you crave, might change it to your grave. It's gonna burn, it's gonna break. It's gonna be too late for you to stop in me. You got a death wish.
everybody. It's Eddie Nine Volt. It's Eddie Nine Volt, man. And you're listening to WRFG Atlanta Good Morning Blues with UK Bob. London to Louisiana. Dude plays the best music, man. Tune in, drop out, dig it. Hey, little thing. What you think about you and me? Well, I've been looking, been looking around. You're the only one I see. Well, I want your love, want it now. I need your love, need it now. Baby, 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 baby tell me what you're feeling now, now, now. No more, baby. I ain't gonna wait I said, hell now You got a roll on me Hell now You got a roll on me Hell now You got a roll on me On me Oh, well, please Well, if he Gillespie from London, England to tell you about the second best way to wake up. Just tune in to UK Bob and his Good Morning Blues show and feel good for four hours on WRFG Atlanta. I'm 
baby, turn back around. Get me ticket on the river boat. Can't fly to her. I guess I float. I guess I float. Fly to her. I get a float. Made a whole boy and we go. Said I made it home. It ain't no fun. That night I laid my head a real line. Left the train. Said it by my mind. Said it by my mind. Somewhere we can eat and sleep Down South Memphis, Tennessee Memphis, Tennessee Down South Memphis, Tennessee I said, no, for me, I'm gonna cut in the hill If the dead dog don't get killed I'm gonna see you on the route, hey Catch me right in the same ferry And the same ferry Catch me right in the same I'm going to rabbit hat Where my baby told me didn't die She said don't me oh my I tell the truth and I never tell no lie I never tell no lie I tell the truth and I tell no lie Rewinding four songs, we began Samantha Fish and Jesse Dayton with a track off a forthcoming album called Death Wish, followed by local little lovelies called Run Katie Run. I tried to book them quite a few times last year, too busy, but that's the way things go sometimes. They actually, some of the band play in a variety of other bands, but this is a new single from them called I've Been Called Worse. I kind of like that title. Followed by the John Pagano band, who've been here for quite a while, a song called Ella. And then back up to Nashville for Nat Myers doing an acoustic thing called 7571. I believe there's another full album to back that up coming. Ah, I need to celebrate a birthday. This chap I interviewed, I guess, five or six years ago. I need to look it up. Um, a few months before he passed unexpectedly, and I was so disappointed, he asked me to come up to New York um, the following month, if I could, because he was doing a couple of big shows up there. I couldn't go, but we were going to get together around this time, you know, later on in the year, April, May. He lived down on the, the uh, Florida coastline, and uh, it didn't happen because after those two shows in New York, he had a heart attack in his hotel. Anyway, it connects also with another birthday. Yes, sorry, that's the reason we're celebrating. He would have been 80 this week. So also would have been 84, another major artist. And somehow I found a way to connect the two things together. But we are going to hear from a tremendous guitar player, the godfather of fusion. Just a quick reminder, if you want to follow my musical mojo on social media, UKBob underscore WRFG on Instagram. You will also have to suffer some of the crazy humor I publish as well. So it's all mingled in together. Got a request? Absolutely. Email UKBob at mindspring.com and I'll dig around in the treasure trove of vinyl, see what I can dig out. Carry on. See you. 
Yes, of course, I know that you know the godfather of fusion was Mr. Larry Coryell. So we heard Inner City Blues because it was also Marvin Gaye's birthday this week. 84 he would have been. It's kind of weird that he died in 1984 on the same day. Shot by his father with his own gun. Guns, 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 don't get me started. Ha, ah, so we heard uh, then uh, the 11th House Band, which is Larry Coriel, and uh, that also featured Alphonse Mouzon on drums. We also lost him in the last year or so. Smack in the middle of all of that. I don't know if anybody noticed something very bluesy versus jazzy. Mr. Murali Coriel, his son, who's a much more of an axe man in the blues rock vein. And that was a live piece. I was in the room with Jimmy down at Don O'Dell's Legend. So maybe, maybe we'll get him on the phone next week and we'll talk about his dad and we'll replay the interview I did with his father and find out what uh, he's up to these days as well. So I'll see, see if I can track him down. You never know. Where are we going? We are going to London. So put your earplugs in, have a little sip of whatever you like a sip of, watch a few couple of movies and a nap and you'll be there. Um, we're going to a big park with an orchestra and the orchestra is fronted by a four piece band who are the godfathers of mod. Yes, I saw this show at Symphony Hall. These guys are in the 70s, but they're one of the few heavy duty stadium bands that read music. So it wasn't hard for them to get the Atlanta Symphony to back them because they wrote the parts for them, because they can do that, because they're bloody clever. Yes. So here you are. Brand new. It was, re you know, the show was, I think, two years ago, but it's just been released. This Sunday, take a cruise down Route 66. Route 66 celebrates a special time when jazz, R&B, and blues were all on the same page and often in the same song. The focus is on the music of the jump blues and early rock and roll eras of the 40s to mid 50s and how those styles have evolved over the years. It's truly great American music that scared some folks half to death. That two-beat pattern is the music brought to the United States of America by the communist conspiracy to corrupt teenagers. <laughs> well, whatever. Please join us Sunday morning from 7 to 9 for Route 66 on WRFG 89.3 FM. Your independent community radio station is streaming worldwide over our free mobile app and WRFG.org. Hey, I'm glad you're listening because this show is for you, like it is every week. This is UK Bob. We've been on the air for 50 years this year, which I think is amazing. I know, I know you say I'm old anyway. Well, I've only done it for the last 23. Ha! But you know what? Our success is down to you. The programs are handmade because you hand deliver and gift to us the funds to keep going. My job of just rooting around and collecting things to play for you is a lot easier. So join us with the Spring Fun Drive, please. It's what keeps us on the air, and it's your community. There's no corporate shouting and neon advertising. Just us. Well, especially me with my stupid jokes, I know. But I love collecting things to share with you. 
and celebrate particular artists and have guests and all the other things that we do. But it only works because you're there and you're gifting us funds to keep us on the air. It's easy to do. Value for money. That's all you got to say to yourself for justification. Here's how you throw funds at us. Go to the website, wrfg.org. There's various ways. On the phone app, it will tell you the same methods. Cash app, just put cash sign WRFG893. And have a look for my name on Thursdays, Good Morning Blues 2. It helps me justify that they still open the mic when I open my mouth. Ha <laughs> ha. Thanks for everything you do to keep us on the air. Maybe another 50 years.
Yes, indeed, it was The U with a live orchestra at Wembley 2019 is out. And uh, DVD, audio, the whole shebang. Just unbelievable performance from these guys. And never mind their age, but the fact that they're that talented. And uh, man, his voice is still just the same, just rocking. Um, an act I did not get to see from the same era, a little bit later, um, who was in London, but they weren't starting until I left a couple of weeks ago. This guy went on to become a terrific radio host, and he's gone back to playing, that's the occasional band gigs. This one was very recently from Live at the 100 Club a couple of years ago, the next piece you're going to hear, but he does a lot of solo tours, acoustic storytelling and music playing, and I keep missing it. He's tremendous. And the songs from, I guess it was late 70s when I saw them, were real anthems, gay anthems. Um, you know, it was never a big deal in London. I was 17. I had just started driving. My first girlfriend, Linda Lewis, her mother worked at the pub uh, at the bottom of... Uh, the hill from Windsor Castle. It was called the Windsor Castle, and it was a gay pub. I mean, you would walk in, and the corner of the bar, the the L-shaped corner of the bar, would be facing you as you swung through the doors. And that corner had a chair that was uh, kept for uh, a chap called the Queen's Mother, and um, he would be dressed in leather, and all of his not gang but compadres would gather around and they had the best time. And, you know, it was just, uh, I don't know how you explain it, good fun with people that maybe do things a little different from you. But I tell you what, not one of them was broke. Yes, not one of them was broke. And I put that down to English boys' schools, yeah? If you could afford to go there, your parents had money. And there is a connection between all of this, I guess. Anyway... That's what you're going to hear. Today, institutions fundamental to the British way of life are under attack. Our schools and universities, public housing, affordable pensions, public transport, legal aid, even our magnificent health service is no longer safe from those who would undermine everything decent and humane that remains in our society. And it's about time we said, enough! And so a return to the traditional British values. Universal human dignity and freedom. Mm. Not yes. the freedom for the city of London to print money so they can pay themselves obscene bonuses while the rest of us pay for it with austerity. Yeah. Not the freedom for floppy haired millionaire tops with their noses in the drop to flog off our last remaining public utilities to their boardroom cronies.
The fabulous Tom Robinson band, Power in the Darkness, was an incredible album. If you want to look into Tom Robinson, that's a great place to start. Oh, the hits, 2468, Mowed Away and Glad to Be Gay, and so many other songs that were massive. To see them live was just spine tingling. I don't know how many videos there are out there of them at their peak, late 70s, but absolutely worth And uh, he's still superb today. Let us bugger off to Germany. <laughs> 